We have all of the indicators for a massive recession flashing. Meanwhile, Bitcoin showing strength right at its previous all-time highs in beautiful form of chaos as earthquakes go across the globe. All this and more on today's Blockchain Basement. We are the bread and butter of all the information that's been swimming across the internet for crypto news. If you're going to um, screw me, at least pull my hair. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, they could start chopping off fingers. They're yeah. like, give me your seed phrase, but that's, yeah. I don't know it. Over two years, he's made like 17K on I'm Roblox. You. What? Like 12. Yeah. You never listen to me. I mean, we must be married. Yeah, well, how much are you investing? A hundred dollars. Four to six hundred thousand. The think generational so signals are now. Do you now. You're spread so thin. That's how you get in on Snake. Snake's been okay. my biggest winner. Oh my God! What is up? What is up? Owen is in the shot. If you go to the Owen. wide and then lean back a little bit, Owen, then I don't have to do the proof of life with that awkward side camera. Yes, indeed, Owen is still alive. There's his head <laughs> in the shot there. So you know you that was can, a good uh, side profile. Yeah, uh, we got the homies up here. It's Friday. Uh, world's feeling a little extra weird. I'm seeing some pretty concerning things pop about uh, from the prepper standpoint. That I am going to be discussing here. Just things to keep in mind. And there can be a lesson had in all of this is to make sure you're taking profits on the way up because we got a lot of signals showing there's a nasty potential for the leg down here. Um, World we got, War Three. Yeah. How I do mean, you prepare for an earthquake? Dude, it's kind of... Well, we showed yesterday the building that was in Taiwan had oh, that like gigantic... Sideways. Yeah, it was like a gigantic gyro um josh how the hell are you doing though you, did you get your lunch i saw the person at the front door just waiting there i couldn't find you yeah i, I was, had to keep walking phone calls just you know when you want to take a lunch i feel like that's when all the phones start ringing it's true. so it's uh, true. i did get my lunch though i pounded that five guys that sounded so terrible really? but it was great food <laughs> oh my god it was good wow that got i'm addicted quick. to five guys right now i can't lie I tacos got me guys. <laughs> All the time. Five times a week. <laughs> five guys, five days, five weeks, five months. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Nick is actually <laughs> at the theater complaining about the sound decibels that uh, current uh, theaters are putting out their uh, videos at. I watched w Leave the World Behind, I think it is called, yesterday. It's the mm. one that the Obamas produced about the um, you know gigantic hack and the end days, all those things. And, uh, man, there was a scene in there. A lot of scenes in that movie had just obnoxious sound uh, tracks to them. It was very obnoxious. So, you know, I can understand where he's coming from. I've been to the theater recently, and they definitely jackknifed that sound up. But, yeah, guys. I, I went to Dune 2. Yeah. DC. You saw that already? It yeah. was so good. It was good. Is it, was it good? good. Uh, but I have to agree. The freaking sound is it's is, obnoxious. It's too intense. D Dune's wild too because it like flash bangs you every other scene. So it's like <laughs> super dark and then just bright like you sand. You're like ah <laughs> ah yeah, and then screaming in you. You're like this is Zendaya. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, things got really weird really quick down here. Um, not as weird as the markets though. Honestly, you guys, you know, you have stocks rising because the Fed's going to be forced to cut rates at a point. You have bonds falling because you know rate hikes. They're being talked about coming back. You also have gold prices signaling the doomsday stuff. Oh, I got to turn on my uh, my computer here. But then also oil prices. Given some weird signals, um, given very... Uh, this isn't fixed yet here. I got to fix this one. Up. Oh my gosh, it looks terrible. I'm going to delete this system <laughs> and then wait for it to turn back on. But basically, you know, it's given a lot of vibes that I had right around uh, COVID. Um, and this is a time that... You know, it's a big lesson that I always try to talk to people about. It's like, yeah, you see all of this danger happening on traditional markets, things of that nature. You have all these reasonings for the world coming to a conclusion. And really, it's just a change of the world. The revelation is the lifting of the veil and the revelation, the realizing of the reality of our world. And, you know, we have a lot of things happening in that regard um, you know, just I'll talk about Bitcoin and crypto first, but there's a lot of things happening on the macro right now that we are going to have to breeze over and address. Um, cause yes, crypto is at all time highs and just coiling here. We're still sitting above $60,000, 60,600 as of right now, Solana, not having a great time over the last day here. We'll go to the big losers, uh, dog with hat. Holy shit. I saw this, uh, video of a dog with hat concert 
that pretty much uh, made me the most bearish I've felt in a long time. <laughs> what do you mean? You want to be there? Dude, I have to go do to the this. Fetty dance? Where is the? Here it is. Here it is. Uh, the Fetty dance. Fentanyl With no dance. sound? That is wild. Yeah, this is just horrible. Let's listen. <laughs> Five dollars if you can put in the chat what he's saying. What is this? That, that is, is Luke Crackwalker right here. Luke Crackwalker <laughs> on stage. He's like, uh. Um, wow. <laughs> no, not, not great. great. What is that? Not dude? Great. Yeah. And this is not great, you guys. Um, the whiff price, as you can so, see, a little did bit not of context though. This is at NFT NYC. I think it was last night, dude. There's a lot of bad pictures out of N NYC. It was pretty empty. I'll see if I really? have. Really? Uh, yeah, dude. Well, NFTs are so dead. Yeah, yeah, it didn't look good. Here it is. Price is going. Oh up. my look god! Look at this. This was NFT NYC. Nowhere near the top, according to value and time. Not a huge attraction. Okay, not a huge attraction showing right here. Definitely the uh, retail craziness that NFTs were born out of is not there right now. But um, Taco, I guess I could throw this to you. Are NFTs effing dead? Or is there any hope for NFTs at this point? What in the hell is going on? Uh, I mean, there's a few ways I could answer this question. Uh, on one hand, you have like Binance, I think they're delisting or they're not going to support Bitcoin ordinals anymore. Yeah. So that's not good. But on the other hand, I see pretty much like DeFi projects use a lot utilizing NFTs in a different way mm -hmm. where if you actually are like an early contributor and you own one of their NFTs, it gives you like a bigger allocation when they have like a token launch. Yeah. So I love that for NFTs, but like, I think the PFP days are over mm. and I think we're going to see, I feel like bored apes, people saying that they're dead, but still over 50 grand for one of them. So you yeah. can't really say like those type of NFTs are dead. But uh, yeah, like blue chips that were considered back in like 2021, 2022, mm -hmm. they're way under their, their uh, all-time It's looking high. grim. It's it looking is. grim. It you is. Know? And Pudgy Penguins is like one of the shining like hopes I have for NFT PFPs, but I really never have... A hope in general for those things they never really made much sense to me i mean the tokenization you know nfts proof of ownership i'd see things moving more in that direction but not looking great and then you know whiff goes and does that it loses 16 percent, still above three bucks uh meme coins been brutal we had the solana chaos Wait, real, real yesterday quick. go to all-time uh chart for yeah. whiff so i mean Right I think there. it's a healthy pullback. I mean, it needs to stop and calm down for a moment here. If it can hold the shelf here at above three billion, three bucks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, three billion dollar, three point two billion so, dollar meme. NFTs coin. are obviously dead yeah. because I mean, it's all on meme coins. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, and someone said in the chat perfectly. It's like they're a lot more fun. Uh, a lot they're easier. They're easier. Yeah. yeah, you just hit buy. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go on like Magic Eden or like now. Right now, the the most expensive uh, NFTs are ordinals, and there's like three of them ahead of Board Ape Yacht Club now. But like ordinals are incredibly expensive. You have to download Unisat or X first and use a very slow transaction process that sucks, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot. It's a very complicated, which is why runes. Runes will explode, dude. It's meme coins. Well, meme coins we, aren't going anywhere. We just started introducing runes, just the baseline of them. You mm. know, some hillbilly type explanation of it. Uh, that's all you need. Best, I, I mean, that's what it, the world needs. It's just a simplified version. It's got this huge barrier where it makes it sound like rocket science to get into. It's really not that complicated. Isn't it, you it get essentially into it. ERC twenty tokens on Bitcoin? It's Solana, very similar, but the transactions work. Oh, oh my there you God. go. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about before the yeah, show. Owen yeah. was having a hard time yesterday. Yeah. Owen almost had a heart attack trying to <laughs> FOMO into meme coins. At, uh, I was laughing, saying, yeah, we're probably going to die and then resurrect again. Uh, Mick friend down so far, but uh, I'm still holding. I'm still holding my Mick friend. I think, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm waiting to see if CCIP with Chainlink integrates uh, runes. There's going to be so? a huge break there. I don't think it will be Solana. Solana's having too many issues now. But, but, I mean, yeah. a, a lot be a of day. these user transactions that were highlighted as bots in the uh, Solana transaction outages yesterday, but I don't know. Owen and uh, me were sitting there and we were swapping out some stuff for McFriend and it was not working. It took like seven times. Bro, you need to turn, you need to be part of this. You you had some real emotional connection to this experience. And uh, he's crying right it now. It was an hour and a half. It was an hour and a half to send some Solana. 
It was a nightmare just to get the Solana itself out of Jeez, there. Jeez, an hour and a half. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Sounds like Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was not good. It's worse. Um, like, Stacks takes like 45 minutes <laughs> or like 15 minutes, but... You know, they, that's they're terrible. highlighting it was simply bot spam potentially, but I mean, I don't know. It is we were, because right. all these people who are trading meme coins above like retail, who is using like a Jupiter or Radium, mm. they're using like a bonk bot, which yeah. literally prioritizes fee. So you Jupiter, have to pay more too. in order to get your transaction to go through. But if you're the first one to get your transaction on a meme coin, you're going to get more uh, of that token. Yeah. And this Jupiter, I like using. I used it yesterday, but it did shave off a little bit of health there. But coming right back down to that previous spot where it um, kind of bounced from originally here. There's some alpha on Jupiter. What you got? If you stake your Jupiter, you can vote on proposals and then you will get airdropped those tokens. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, I'm seeing the Utility. haircut on the market. Like, this is making me want to buy more ICP. It's making like near. I got a little bag of. Uh, obviously, definitely happy with the near hold. Um, it's one of the winners for today. Core um, still holding on up 100 percent on the week. Pretty nice to see. And DZ was highlighting. We got some old school kind of a uh, proof of work uh, coins popping their ugly heads out of the ground because they are the unkillable honey badger of crypto. What all this shit's built off of is proof of work. So. Now that the uh, World Economic Forum cannot FUD proof of work into the ground because Larry Fink said no, that is not uh, going to be legally viable. We can't go after the energy industry because guess what? Tons of our investors are states that are built upon energy. So imagine that. What you got, Tom? Uh, two things in the chat. Yeah. The Deadwood says he's giving up on Solana. And then Faden Tradvi says Owen needs to set his slippage higher. So... Deadwood, I I wouldn't give up on it. I would just up your priority fee when yeah. you're uh, trying to submit a transaction. And he's right. If if you're trading a very volatile meme coin, you have to change your slippage, mm -hmm. which is essentially like the range at which you're going to be buying that token. It's usually sent to like 0.5. So think of it like 0.5 above what you're going to buy it or 0.5 below is the range that you're going to be able to get that token. By upping the slippage on a very volatile asset, you'll be able to have more success in uh, swapping that well, token. And even turning the slippage up, I have a lot more luck with Jupiter. Than, yeah, that's uh, it. Well, I mean, it's if you're trading meme coins, yeah. like, it could go up 15% uh, if someone buys like 10K of it. Yeah. Uh, crypto surge talking about the earthquake over there in new york city yeah we're definitely covering that uh, we're real quick oh, though yeah. what is your thoughts on wormhole taco you've known about wormhole long before anyone else that i've heard it being talked about by so you're like literally the first person i heard this from a long time ago honestly you see this graph we're at 94 cents its original release is a dollar 38 is this opportunity zone is this something that's just a fly so, by the so night there's a few things i would consider with wormhole yeah they gave a huge chunk to like the mad lads and various uh solana nfts okay like their projects so they are going to be able to claim their tokens i think mm -hmm. in like uh, a few weeks or maybe a few months i'm not 100 percent sure on the time frame mm -hmm. but so so with that being said they're gonna dump or if they're smart, I think they'll hold because Wormhole is, is trying to be like like the, the pathway to any blockchain you want. Yeah. So, it's almost like a, it's going to try to fall into that layer zero narrative that's not even here yet. True. I think the layer zero narrative is also the, the groundwork for it's being framed by CCIP, uh, Chainlink, which Josh brought up. You know, that's you see the layer zero is coming. I don't even think the token's available for it yet. Yes, I'm going to buy some of that. Um, saw a little opportunity zone from the uh, carnage on C-Swap as well today. It is Ethereum, which is painful. Son of a... God! I was looking at this at 14 cents today. And then we did all those streams. Reversed. Fridays are insane, bro. God, these days yeah. crush me. They crushed my soul, Josh. I was looking at this thing at 14 cents and I couldn't I couldn't do it. We had to go live. Yeah, this was a uh, I'm dude, I was looking at it at a penny. I didn't buy I it all 10 cents or like 8 cents. And it was because it was uh being shilled by some people on TikTok. I was like, mm. usually that red flags me. It's like I'm like, "Ah, oh, that's just gross." You know, mm. like I don't but obviously marketing goes into it. It was just who they chose. But then you like looked into it and I I am with you. We are close we're not there yet chat but we are close to where 
One of the biggest narratives, I don't know if it's going to be in 2024, it is coming soon, is going to be interoperability. Yeah. Their DEX is one of the coolest, most efficient DEX I've used in my entire life. Yeah. And it's going to have the privacy function added on later on. Yeah, the user experience is going to be everything for this. Yeah. Like you have to look, you have to look smooth, you have to look simplified. Like, um, easy to use. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The, uh, the entire, like, everybody here, like, goes to Taco and they have to bridge something. They're like, how do I bridge this one? Because you have to bridge well, differently on every... But it didn't work nearly as good as his D-bridge that he brought up to me. Like, yeah. the D-bridge that Taco showed me, man, chef's kiss. Like, and that you lovely. get points for bridging and they're going to have an airdrop. See? There we go. Um, I just like using it. You know what I mean? I just yeah, like someone in the it. chat uh, scrolled up a little bit, but uh, Orbiter.finance is good and yeah. so is D-bridge. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit of a red day on the altcoins. You know, I think a lot of it's stemming from, I mean, I saw the Solana outage here. And we also had StarkNet uh, facing a four-hour outage as well. Block production halting on this guy. Not a great thing due to prolonged interruption in the block creation on Stark Network. Exceeding two hours, we regret to inform you that the withdrawal feature will experience a delay rest assured the team is actively working to resolve the issue we see a little bit of clogs in the new financial plumbing that we're all trying to build out here um no i don't get mad at any specific pipe it's about the whole economy and network working together calling out the issues and fixing them this is a good point that uh, i don't know if you saw that vitalik little clip where he's saying all these L2s are essentially built with a back door. Yeah. I so did see, developers yes. can go yes. in and fix stuff. So take that with a grain of salt. I think if you trust the L2, it's fine. But yeah, just keep that in mind. Yeah. And Dirty Dan's bringing up some of my skim over all the time. Near and its account abstraction. Um, yes, I definitely believe in near, uh, good reminder to go a little bit deeper in this thing. I like to see what's shining while the rest of the blood's kind of flowing here. Uh, the original entry point on near painful because it was like a, a buck ninety or something stupid, but now it's well up there. Health on a shelf though. Health on a shelf may be able to test this spot once again in the low sixes, uh, maybe six dollars and forty cents. But it's up at seven dollars and thirty five. Did you just coin right that now. health on a shelf? That's been my shit, you know. That's and, awesome. And prove it points, you know. I, what like I mean, that. prove it points <laughs> where they come back down here. They prove that there's buying support. You know, I don't like to sit there and draw spider lands and everything, but I do like to pay close attention to the heartbeat of the market and make the analysis from there. And yeah, I mean, generally, you guys, are we're looking good, but there's a lot of shit to be watching on the outside. What I'm going to try to fly through all these stories. This was the exact moment Fed Kasharki, Fed member Kasharki said, if we continue to see inflation moving sideways, then that would make me question <clears throat> whether we needed to do those rate cuts at all. Here's Kasharki. Here's a close-up of his face, also Movie similar 300. to this man. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. This man right here from The Mummy. I, he was the bad guy. I thought you were going to pull up the guy from The 300. Imhotep. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Uh, Yerxes from 300? Oh, yeah. Yeah, also that. Mm. Also that. Bro, yeah. th those are, th these Look people are brothers. I know, dude. He's the same guy. <laughs> so there what you the go. Um, that just kind of explains his uh, chaotic words yesterday. Um, a lot of things going on with CERN, and uh, there's just so much shit going on. We're going to turn that through. back on. They, well, no, it's they turn it back on, but the thing is, they're going to try to exceed previous uh, power ever hit um, on the eighth of this month. Oh, yeah, awesome timing. Really. Yeah, it's really great. Um, wait, wait, uh, have you guys seen Three Body Problem? Three Body Problem? No, I've heard on of Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. It goes into like CERN and like. Uh, particle accelerators yeah it's uh it's pretty cool i recommend it dude i mean it turned uh, uh atheist stephen hawking into uh a believer i'll just say that mm. you know um and in not in the good way the worry of opening up a portal for demons that's why well so. not to go off the deep end but did you guys hear about uh how we could be in a parallel universe because <laughs> we I think we we shifted uh, an atom or something. I I don't know the details, obviously. Yeah. But like we shifted and it weighs more and it's pulling our universe down into a parallel universe, and that would explain all this crazy shit that's happening. Dude, I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. We will I, know. Look at this. It's real when Harambe is alive. Yeah, he's resurrected. They're gonna be like, he never died. Oh, and we're yeah, playing this shit. Be, uh, Have a listen. What's that to this? thing? It's like uh, the Berenstein Bears or the. Or yeah, like the cornucopia. They're gonna be like, "That was Harambu." You're like, "No, it was Harambe. Oh no, God. it was Harambu." Like, dude, shout out to Harambe. Mess with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're going to this. 
Okay, here's what you need to know about the total solar eclipse. Now, a lot of people know that the total solar eclipse will be traveling on a path from frickin' south-ish to north-ish over the United States of America. And many people believe that this eclipse pathway is actually opening up a portal for humans to receive downloads of information and connect deeper with the universe. Now, what's crazy is if you take one letter from every city that the eclipse is traveling over, you can rearrange it to get a message directly. <laughs> and what's even weirder, dude, is if you trace the past three eclipse pathways, they form a, a perfect freaking triangle over the United States of America. And if you look at this circle here, that's the true middle of this triangle. It's an untouched piece of land that humans have never made contact with. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy is if you zoom in on this true middle of the uh, triangle that the eclipse pathways create, you'll find this is the location where P. Diddy is hiding. Oh, it all is connected, folks. America. It's America. Uh, America. <laughs> I didn't realize it was satire at first. Dude, this guy is so sick. I that was, was funny. Guy. If you want to go down a rabbit hole, uh, watch, We're there. watch the music video Black Hole Sun, and then look oh, into yeah. the demon faces that potentially people are, yeah. will see on uh, April 8th. Soundgarden yeah. goes that deep? What was that? Is that... What? Uh, no, like, there's another video called Black Hole Sun. Oh, it's a music video. From, from music uh, video. Yeah, yeah. From, from that's Soundgarden, right? Soundgarden. Yeah. yeah. It's an OG. It's a, that's they OG. Have, so it is. It have, is. that that It's their music video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's They have, like, the, the stretched out faces and the blown up eyes. and the, Dude, it's coming. It's coming. And check this out, you guys. First patient with a kid or a pig kidney This was crazy. Discharged from the hospital. This is a uh, nightmare fuel. I'll just do a uh, quick search on the old interwebs for a picture of him. Uh, guy seems alive, seems smiling. He's got a pig kidney in him. Uh, you know, transplants and uh, kind of the creation of uh, organs. This is a fine line. Now, just for some context, my younger brother had two heart transplants in his life, a total of three hearts. Um, and really, you know, I understand the pull or the call to have, you know, some sort of uh, availability for organs to be not needed to be pulled from, you know, deceased people. So you don't have to give a life to get a life in this situation. So I can understand why they're trying to find different options here. Makes me feel really queasy when I see that we're putting uh, pig, uh, pig kidneys into humans. But that's all happening live time. We're seeing it happen in front of us. Um, hopefully the guy makes it. He doesn't turn into a pig, obviously. And this was very interesting. Out of control monkeys clashing <laughs> in central Thailand, forcing authorities to take action. Macaws have roamed the area for the years and are becoming increasingly violent. Local media reporting monkeys climbing into cars, stealing food from stores and damaging property. So essentially a monkey protest here going on. Um, you know, this is a problem we don't have in the United States, but you never know. Like, your chances of being killed by a monkey are low, but they're never zero, you know? There's this a herd, there's, there's a, or a unit, or what do you call them, a community of them in Florida. Is there really? Yeah. What? Yeah. It's somewhere in, like, uh, I think it's Orlando. It's, like, North, Land, uh, North Orlando. There's, like, 100 or 200 monkeys now because some rich dude brought them there, mm. like, 100 years ago, and they've been what just the breeding. Hell? So you can, go, you can actually go kayak and go see them. And, I was in Barbados, and I saw a bunch of monkeys flying through the air once. That was pretty oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Monkey talking bullish. Monkeys. Yeah. You know, in, in the old, uh, you know, the old thing that um, how my daughter is a monkey, like, in terms of, like, horoscope or whatever, she's always... Playing tricks, you know, playing tricks on me. I think the <laughs> feds are playing some tricks on us here. We got March full time jobs are down six uh, six thousand. March full time or part time jobs are the actual winners here. I think I said that vice versa, but you can see the discrepancy between what is part time work being gathered and full time work being gathered. You can't even see it there. Um, this is the strong job growth that the Fed Kasharki is citing in his reasoning for, you know, trying to scare the public into thinking that the Feds are going to keep the interest rates high. The reality is they don't give a damn about me and you. They're going to be cutting rates for the banks. Um, so there's that. You know, it's an imp a simple way to say it. This is on the trade war side with China. Weaponizing gallium flows to the West after U.S. miner reveals a new discovery in Montana. We have uh, China restricting the gallium and germanium flows to the U.S. last summer, seen as a tit-for-tat response to the worsening U.S.-China trade war. Prices of the metal have doubled around 575 a kilogram de delivered to Rotterdam, according to Bloomberg. Here's just an overall sending less gallium overseas the control. This is the out exports from China on a graph scale, so you can kind of get the concept of it. 
Um, and essentially, you know, we have the beginnings. This is highlighting all the differences between, uh, you know, uh, Ch China and the United States and our production capabilities. But these rare ingredients are rare earth metals used to make F-35s, uh, the Burke DDG-51, the Virginia class submarines as well. So, you know, it's pretty important shit to have. And I always talk about, my God, we're sitting on this treasure trove of natural resources in Alaska that we refuse to tap. That is the truth. In my opinion, that is our breadbasket we're keeping in the background to have to dig into should we experience the next step in World War III. And unfortunately, I do have concerns that that is coming. Um, we have this, let's see here, pull my screen. Oh yeah, here it is. So Blinken coming out, talking about Ukraine is becoming a member of NATO. So ridiculous. So if anyone remembers the very, very initial hiring of this jackass, I said his wet dream is World War III and he will do everything in his power to get us there. Anthony Blinken, that being, here we are, him. Uh, let's just have a listen, but keep in context. This is the linchpin of why Russia would consider using nuclear weapons against the West. Here we go. I'm going to open it up. And uh, let's have a listen and see where this world's going, folks. The determination of every country represented here uh, at NATO uh, remains rock solid. Uh, we uh, will do everything that we can. Allies will do everything that they can to ensure that Ukraine has what it needs to continue to deal with Russia's ongoing aggression against Ukraine, an aggression that gets worse uh, with every passing uh, uh, day. Ukraine will become a member uh, of NATO. Uh, our purpose at the summit is to help build a bridge to that membership uh, and uh, to create a clear pathway for, uh, for Ukraine uh, moving forward. But, uh, of course, we believe that Ukraine deserves to be a member of NATO and that this should happen sooner rather, sooner, sooner rather than later. Uh, uh, so you get the gist of the story. This is the next step in what they call Article 5 within NATO. Now, I've already shown the damn uh, frontline plans that NATO has contrived for where each member of NATO is planning to place their troops on the northern border, most primarily in the United, uh, or the Ukraines, uh, United Ukrainians soon to be. Um, you know, this is, they're going to be looking more so at the north border of ukraine to place their troops initially but this is really starting some bad bad shit you guys this is uh it's the biggest up. thing that worries me about world war three yes there is the nuke concern but also the weather uh weather weapons weather weapons in my opinion are very much so real well, and cyber it's cyber as well you know what i mean is cyber as well and you know i used to work in the energy grid and was uh very involved with just making sure that like the human aspect of the people that worked at the power energy industry didn't get hacked. They didn't click the wrong links because they veil their hacker emails very well at this point. They spent a lot of time getting those uh, URLs as close as humanly possible to what it's actually supposed to be originating from. So you have all of this going on and, you know, all of a sudden we have earthquakes across the globe we have this i'm just going to go to dutch senses website just to see everything this guy is an absolute savage when it comes to uh covering earthquakes in live time confirming a rare 5.0 earthquake or an m4.8 according to usgs services striking near trump golf course in new jersey earlier this morning while josh was live i do have a video of what it looked like here Let's give this a look and see how serious it was. A lot of people were saying it was kind of nothing. Um, maybe so. Let's check it out. Is this, is this where the earthquake earth actually was? Because New York mm -hmm. was like on the outskirts. Yeah, it's New Jersey. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh. Wow. You got the New Yorker accent? That's a little bit of an earthquake. Yeah, that was, that was pretty That's impressive. a little bit of an earthquake. But let's see what else Dutch Sins has That was here. the first one in that area in 280 years. I think, yeah. It was like... Uh, global what, warming. Was it 1700s something? It's global warming. that happened? What was that? I think it was in the 1700s. Like I think 280 been, years how ago? How do you even track that? So. Like, they're on their, like, carriage with their horse and was like, 
a little more bumpier Is than usual. No, more? you can measure it in the <laughs> ground, like the uh, you know the actual archaeology yeah, yeah. of it and cracking the, the the ground open and seeing. But this is just wow. His, that's uh, cool. But did you see the article come out about Trump? Oh. They're indicting him for inciting a, an earthquake. No, no way. How dare oh. they? <laughs> oh my god, um, dude! I would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like, oh well, because of the January six protests, there Bro. was a plethora of humans. It caused you know. I wouldn't oh even doubt god. it. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, I got some stuff on Trump. I got some new feelings for the orange one here. But uh, here's just a global view of those earthquakes as they unraveled. I uh, don't believe I have it pulled up yet. I might pull it up later, but it's essentially the USGS uh, listing of all of these earthquakes, quite a few across the globe, all happening uh, one right after the other. Pretty damn concerning, you guys. If you guys remember, Turkey was trying to say, hey, holy hell, let's for God's sakes not do Article 5 for Ukraine against Russia. And what happened shortly after that? 75 people, 75,000 people lost their lives in earthquakes in Turkey. Not much reporting on it either. Not many people cared about it. You didn't hear Isn't that crazy. Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand people. Wait. So, are you saying you think it was an earthquake weapon? I am saying that the company that stemmed what we know as Harp today was originally an oil and gas exploration company that uh, specialized in radio wave frequencies. So, hmm. underground radio, Harp, radio DARP. waves. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a thing, okay. And I know it's in Q tell. This is you know this is weird shit that I'm talking about here, but guys, I've been studying and watching this shit for a while. I don't feel like warning about stuff unless I feel like it's pretty damn serious. I am feeling like stuff is getting a little bit spicier than people realize right now. This is uh, the bird flu being reported in a dairy herd in Ohio. Now we previously reported on it in a large uh, dairy and uh, egg location in Texas. Now we have further instructions found uh, infections in Kansas and New Mexico, according to U.S. government and USDA reports, saying the transmission of the disease between cows cannot be ruled out. The expansion of the outbreak among cows is heightening worries over potential human health risks, building the gateway and the roadway for another gigantic psyop on the American people, which is flu season. Now, and... You're gonna eat bugs. We're gonna eat bugs. I'm not eating bugs unless they're fried. Like I can no. eat a cricket deep fried in some like KFC batter. I well, would... you probably already are. Well, uh, to a degree, you know. Like what KFC, I mean? there's 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 got to be some crickets in there. I, I mean, couldn't do that. I just couldn't do like. And you then, wouldn't like, be able to eat crickets if you if you were nah, starving just because like death. if if I was starving to death, but like we don't need to do that. Yeah, you know, like Unless the cow's farting isn't the cattle. issue. You know, like stop flying private, and I'd rather eat cow meat. Like, yeah. you know, like, I'm going to eat cow meat until I yeah. die. If like, it kills I'm, me, it kills yeah. me. That's Red meat the goes. for the win, not weird cricket juices, you know, well, like yeah. just when I the wing opens store, up and it like tickles you and it gets stuck on your tongue. Like, I saw like, a store that was selling them <laughs> in like packaged, um, they were like in packages it's out like, in Helen, Georgia. They had these little, um, tarantulas. They look like candy bars, but they're full of crickets, man. Gross. They were full of crickets. Gross. So here's gross tra- talking about the next gross. psyop for the humanity as we know it. I'm going to hear him out because I got an open mind and open heart. Let's see what you got. Wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They- it, it better, better be, real. be real. But it, I think that I'm as much digging as I can. It seems authentic. I did check. Um, I should get on Truth I Social I right even now. Doubt it. I, I, I should go on Truth Social right now to find that out um, because he has all of his stuff originate from this. Uh, let's see what I get. So he's saying here. that there's going to be more lockdowns before 2024. He is, and he's warning against it. I'm actually going through this right now because I just seen feel him put like up a there's no way people it. would. You don't think they'd fall for it? 
I think people are very susceptible to falling for it still. I think there'd be more states to be hesitant, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like like New York obviously would shut down because they just don't know any better. better. California, shut down. But maybe not Temecula or like the uh, red areas. Florida would never. Uh, like Florida would never. Florida would never. But Florida even out Georgia here where I'm at, yeah, like coalition. I feel like no. I think Florida and Georgia are going to join each other should we, there be a civil war. That's a power, formidable con- combination uh, right there. You get the Appalachian states. This is where guerrilla warfare was, you know, in the modern view was created, was the Appalachians uh, with the Southern. So, you know, obviously it didn't work out great, but they still gave them hell. Um, <laughs> you know, so we, we're, we're the losers. I, I, we are <laughs> the losers. But, uh, you, I mean, we, we're all the same. It's just like I had a, an interesting point, Josh. My Which grandfathers fought each other in World War II. Yeah, Michael. that is insane to think about. Yeah, it's like the Civil War movie that's coming out, and like one of the scenes in the trailers, like, like I'm an American. They're like, what type of American? Mm-hmm. You're like, what? like we're actually at that point. Oh yeah, like, I know. Especially like New Yorkers versus Californians, like they're completely different accents. They're gonna be like, oh, we know, yeah. we know. Um, and you know, it's really, uh, it's a shame to see this happening right now. The worry about the flu season narrative coming back. Sure, it's there. <laughs> More so, I'm concerned about Article 5 and NATO yeah, and, that's intense. Uh, and the energy stuff. You know, I think that uh, people are kind of, you know, you've seen the cocoa prices and uh, coffee prices are jackknifing, like meme coins right now. Well, that's actually from bad harvests um, and, you know, extreme weather. Like, mm-hmm. there's been some very interesting weather going on. And I really think that, uh, you know, like, I'm from Colorado. You never used to see tornadoes in the mountains and uh, yeah what is up with that it's weird even i didn't think there was tornadoes out here well we did have we recently had some like two uh, days ago we had a tornado warning yeah we had a couple and if you drive like i was driving to north georgia you can see a lot of uh uh, trees bent over from tornadoes but there's been just some pretty extreme weather um the rare snow snow the rare snow tornadoes in colorado snow up in the the mountains yeah i've never imagined it to be true um I'm not saying I need to become a geologist. No, I don't need to become a geologist. Follow Dutch sense. That's what I recommend. Um, let's see here. And I have some other stuff about uh, just what we're watching here. So these are quick highlights, just uh, bits and pieces. We have uh, Iran, Iran, Revolutionary Guard Corps, uh, General Hossein Salamani, Salami, bound reprisal attacks against Israel and recent killings of force generals. Uh, this is not good. This is speculation that the U.S. CIA has warned Israel of an Iranian attack coming within the next few days. National Security Spokesman says definitely matters. I can imagine you can quantify why. Yellen told to hold contentious talks with China over excess production. God, yeah. that's so she scary. She loves going yeah. to China and trying to Dude, she muscles. sucks so bad. She does. Why know? are we sending the worst negotiator on the planet? It's it's unfortunate. Here's New Zealand preemptive approval <laughs> for speak new Chinese. NATO partnership for Ukraine. So we already have members <laughs> of the NATO coalition given the pre-approval for World War III. Uh, not great, you guys. These are just a pile of the macro stories going on in the background that you have to be cognizant of. Um, now, on the crypto side, we're leaning into danger. Obviously, there's a lot of worries that the SEC versus Coinbase deal is going to wipe out the ability for Americans to get crypto. We got Paul Grewal, uh, He's part of Coinbase legal side. I think he's a CLO, uh, chief legal officer over there, appreciating the Second Circuit Court, confirming today what is clear under the securities law. There is no private liability for the secondary trading of digital assets on exchanges like Coinbase. Why? Because contracts matter. Get into a little bit more. I want to actually dig into this, see what's going on here. This is the full document, uh, United States Court of Appeals. You can find this on his Twitter. But essentially, he's just saying, guess what? The contract's already been built out preemptively to this lawsuit. You guys said, okay, it's the way she goes, baby. Get fucked. So that is what is going on on the Coinbase SEC lawsuit side. This is weird. I, uh, I'm, we're probably going to get demonetized if I play this. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Um, <laughs> play it. Play no. it. Play it. <laughs> I mean, we get One's in the chat. One's in the chat yeah, if you want us to play to spam it. Spam <laughs> me to get that one going on. Um, that one's a risky biscuit right there. Now, here is just a highlight of Tesla. A risky stock. biscuit. Uh, fell nearly 6% after Reuters reported the company canceled plans for a low cost electric vehicle. 30 minutes later, at 11.35 a.m., 
Eastern Standard Time, Elon Musk posted that the Reuters is lying again. And here is those events mapped out on a chart. And they say that, you know, uh, you can't really uh, get involved with crypto because it's completely speculative. And be careful out there. Look what happens on just basic news reports. There you go. Son of a bitch. So Elon Musk obviously knows better than this Reuters news source. How, how, like, they've easily could have put in a sell or short right there absolutely and manipulated it so like is there anything done to the to people there no 100 percent manipulated 100 percent. there's and like literally tech committees that will pass a bill that they'll push the routers that won't even get approved but they'll push it through the publicity like it's so illegal it should be well it is illegal they're just not held to that you same get a lot standard. of ones there speaking of people that aren't held a lot to of the ones same standard, a lot of ones no speaking lots of, people of ones that are not held to the same standard we're gonna play this damn yes. video it's very chaotic. Buckle I have no up. idea what it is. <laughs> uh, this is going to get weird, you guys. Went that way. Okay, okay, male or female? Neither. They, them. What? That's their pronoun. Okay, so how many were they? Oh my God, one, you idiot. They're non-binary. So does non-binary have a hole or a pole? We just need to clarify. They who? Who them? Who? Who's who? Who's who? They, they, them. Who? Who? We're having pronoun trouble again. Were they white? No. Were they black? No, color doesn't matter, you bigot. Were they fat? That's body shaming, sorry. What do they look like? A human. That's who you're getting from me, you pig. Okay, witness says we're looking for an angry, B.O. smelling, pink haired dog with a nose ring over. <laughs> they went that way. <laughs> oh my God. How do you even deal with this? Oh, that dude? was what? good. Oh, oh, so, God. I mean, <laughs> they them. <laughs> Who they? Who they them? Did you did you hear about the people that are joining? Uh, it's either army or the military who are identifying as a woman to get better benefits and more money. No way. I swear to God. No, they're not. Don't give me that. Horrible, they are two hundred IQ, dude. Oh my God. Dude, there's people that are. Was that the conversation I was having to you with the uh, uh, the squatters where they're like. The homeowners and like these squatters, they're changing their names. And uh, I think, like, I don't know if you can change your ethnicity, but like <laughs> you do it on paper or something. And like they're doing this mm. in California. So that way, like, you can't, like, oh, you're going, you'll, you'll register in another country. So that way the lawmakers don't ever touch you. Like, if you're an immigrant, they won't really? touch you. If you're like breaking into the cars, they won't touch you. Uh, if you're squatting in their house and like you're of a certain ethnicity, like they're not going to touch you because like they just, the cops are scared for their jobs. What it's like hell? a huge thing right now in LA. Uh, and yeah, California is a trash hole. It's literally wow. a trash can, dude. Yeah. I'm never going there. You know, I'm never going there. Um, that sucks. That really sucks. And yeah. honestly, like I really can't even imagine a squatter trying to take over my place. I have uh, property rights uh, and it's explicitly listed. Get off my lawn. No trespassing. Um, and I think I have another spicy sign that I'm not going to say live on stream on a tree. Once you start breaching my property, that explains what your fate will be. And, uh, you know, so moving on from that, it, the, all the things we just talked about on the macro, very big reasons of why to, uh, prepare. I, oh God, we got a problem on the McFriend chart. Oh my God. What is happening here? Look at this shit. It's down to $9,000 market cap. Ooh. What the hell? These sons of Mick bitches. Uh, Mick friend. <laughs> these sons of Mick bitches. These sons of Mick bitches. Sorry, a $9,000 market cap? Well, yeah, Josh, you know. So if I go put $1,000 into that, it will go You will have 10% of the supply. Dude, should we? I mean, honestly, like. So you can cash out on me? You want to use me as exit liquidity? Well, I, uh, I got exposure to this thing with like 30, 40 bucks. Just like, because it's so small. You can't really do anything huge on that. I was at fifty thousand dollar market cap yesterday. Life comes at you quick. Look, I Life might have to pick up quick. some now that it's at um, a nine thousand dollar market. You're cap. You're gonna be a huge, huge player for McFriends. Dude, is a good meme. Sad, very sad. Uh, very man. sad. Our heroes are all dead. Look at that. Uh, this is interesting. Johnny brought this up. Camino Finance uh, Genesis page going live. You can view your allocation here for people that are putting into Camino. This is not available I'm in getting, the U.S. region, so isn't that? Use a VPN. Yeah, I know. I'm getting around. Uh, I got around 640, mm. which I'm actually kind of disappointed in. Yeah, I had it in there for I can't even remember since the beginning of the year, um, a decent amount of money, yeah. and I think on whale markets it's trading at 15 cents, so that's around 100. dollars mm. Okay. Okay. I mean, I I'm earning on the website. 
like through their DeFi. I feel like Whiff's concert rugged all of Solana momentarily. Like, I feel like that Whiff concert really is... I don't think some... anybody cares. I mean, there's still 77% of failed transactions. So people are clearly That's trying true. to push transactions That's through. That's true. Well, and we, we broke it ourselves with high usage. It's the way it goes. Hit the likes if you like the chaos we're creating um, in the world of finance. <laughs> Obviously, there's some things to fix on the transactions moving through. Athena is not second Luna. We were looking at Athena. Prove me wrong. Interesting stable I think coin. it's because they're... Uh, is he worried about the providing price a bunch of APY? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think it might be forty percent. Athena is not second Luna. No, I don't think that at I all. I mean, it's all about timing. It might if you have a bear market hit and this thing's assets are misappropriated in heard, any way. I heard bad some sketchy stuff that the devs are doing. Mm. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I mean, it's graph maybe them do horrible. do some research. I have not looked into this token. Yeah, I, I've just seen it really popping up. Yeah, it's. Got a low supply out right now, but it's honestly not a terrible chart. Let's see the market cap flash view here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad oh, at all. It just came out. It is very new. And, yeah. you know, this market cap circulating supply ratio matters a little bit less now that we are in a hardcore uh, bull market. Costco hot dog. We're going to my next meme coin target here because I do like what I'm seeing from Costco hot dog on the charts. Uh, looking very damn strong. I'm craving for, some Costco um, hot dog. Are you really? I mean, it's only a dollar fifty. That's yeah. their guarantee. With right a there. drink, my dude. I'm getting some of this shit though. I'm going. I'm trying to be greedy and get this uh, wick downside here in this range. About seventy-seven 50, million. Cents. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big meme coin already. That's this intense. Is a, but, th dude, I really think that uh, so many people are going to be seeing this meme coin come up. Inflation's crushing people on the front end. They're coming into meme coins to go to the moon. They're going to see Costco hot dog. They're going to get those good feels. Check out and, uh, Bowden chart. Yeah. Oh my God. I, dude, do I have to? I it's heard a rumor that high. Chinese millionaires are flocking well, to Bowden. Well, they love Joe. We know China loves Joe. We call him China Joe Joseph. Uh, here on the channel. Oh my God. Joey Joe. Oh yeah. my God. Bowden. Yeah. Uh, this is Geo Bowden. Absolutely. It ain't sleeping like this Joe, that's for sure. <laughs> $561 million market cap on that little fella. Uh, Pedro. This is a new one. Is this the vote for Pedro? 508,000 market cap. Came out of the gate. Bye, 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 bye. No, what the hell is this? Is this a vote for Pedro? I'm going to have to. Pedro the raccoon. Okay. Um, all right. And then there was another one that they had uh, mentioned in the chat. What was it? It was something that I wanted to look at. Uh, oh, and where was it? It was, uh, I think it was Trepe or Trempe. Um, Obama, Obama, yeah, Obama, that's what it was. Obama, Barack Obama. <laughs> um, let's see here, the face, dude. Yeah, that's pretty lit. It's giving up some, some strength here, though. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, let's back up all the way. Okay, so this is its oh, initial this is an old token. It is. It's got some price history all the way back to March 15th. That's intense. Yeah, it's huge. A month in the meme um, space? That's yeah. crazy. I know. And that's people get like shocked when I say it could die today. I said that about uh, McFriend before it did uh, fall off the face of a cliff this morning on the live stream. You know, it's the way it goes. That was it's, one sell order, though. You can't be mad. I mean, it was like a $50,000 market cap. Someone sells 6 k It's like, yeah. I mean, like and just, now you, you could know. grab it for, God, I mean, that's too degenerate, though. I think feel like $50,000 market cap exposure is enough risk level for me. Is if it moons, if it wakes back up, if it has a community takeover like Whiff, Whiff had a community takeover um, after its initial pain, and look what it did. So uh, now they're dancing like they're on fentanyl in, uh, I think it's Vegas. Um, absolutely ground-shaking performance, guys. Now, we have this, JP Morgan talking about the Lido state and Ethereum decreases further, reducing concerns about its concentration in ETH network, raising the chance for Ethereum to avoid being designated a security. I am still of the opinion we will have an Ethereum ETF approved, looking more like May, obviously, at this rate. Um, I think, Josh, you were thinking August or something, right? You're thinking like a little bit more delay in May. I mean, I would just be shocked if James and Eric Bautunas are wrong. Mm. Uh, and they're, like, pessimistic on it. They think it's, like, a 25% chance. Now, yeah. I, they may have adjusted since then, but seriously, as of right now, it's 25%. So for me, it's like, okay, this is why I am preparing myself to take, like, a lot of my trading positions off the table by mm -hmm. the Bitcoin having. I think we're going to have a jump before then. I could be wrong, though, and I'm going to be watching the bullish pendant. And there's a pattern that I'm watching right now, and if it does break to the upside, I'm going to hold into it. Okay, uh, okay. But if we do get the 80,000 before the halving, so in the next two weeks, which is very possible, 
I'll be scraping some off the table because I believe with that and the anticipation of the ETF, uh, well, there might be a run up in altcoins to the ETF and then another downside on altcoins after yeah. that till August. And then like, cause then there's no big events over the summer. Fair it's going to be trend trading. Fair enough. You know, I don't know. Just on the last portion, you know, on one of my watch lists, I'm kind of just uh, concentrating the losses down to see where the biggest opportunity is in this pullback. Solidus AI Tech nice. shaving off 13%, 17 on the week. OPSEC down 9%. Uh, Codex, you, Josh had brought this one up. I'm just kind of tracking its price right now. Uh, feeling it out. Might have some more downside, but something I want to try to get a, a snack on to. And stacks. I'm refusing to pay $3 for a Stacks token. This is my line in the sand. If I die, mm -hmm. I die. But I definitely want to get this thing within the $2 to, uh, to $3 If it range. drops to two seventy, two eighty, I'm buying. Yeah, I mean, that's, this and is what I I'm And I haven't for. bought Stacks since $0.46, cents, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to see that health on a shelf built right yeah. here. Um, you know, you know, right now it's jackknife to the downside, back down to $3.10. Hit market cap, though? Uh, let's see, 4.5 bill. No, it hit the market cap down oh, yeah. on, and then go all because you, you'll yeah notice it's pretty uh, similar. Pretty well, I think yes, yeah, so I think the support there is at like the three, three five level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three so point, the three, yeah, that three right there. Bill. That's where I would love to enter. I think that's gonna be significant support. And it's sitting at four point five, so you're looking for like twenty twenty five percent. Yeah, uh, shaved off the top before, and that's just about being patient, being uh, rudely stubborn about my entry points to make sure that they're good ones. Um, yeah, I know these things are going to be very bullish, uh, but I want to make as many X's as I can on the larger market cap projects by having that type of patience. So, you know, the world's going nuts. How about yours? I, I have my watch list built and I know kind of where I'm going at large. I do have a pretty large bag of Solana I'm working with right now, but maybe I need to start looking at Trader Joe. Maybe I need to start even getting into the polka dot ecosystem, you know what I mean? The e Cardano ecosystem, the things that haven't really exploded yet. Um, I was talking to a lot of people about some deep picks. I know DZ even, uh, it's like he was on the same wavelength. He came out with the list of his favorite kind of deep Cardano ecosystem builds. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's a reasonable place to start looking, polka dot, um, things of that nature, because base, base as well. Like, God, there's so many things Rounds. to get. And then runes, runes. The, there's so much, but the runes has really kind of popped already. I, I kind of feel like I'm a little behind if I go into that deep, deep, but there's some things you're bringing up that are early, you yeah, know, like I, some swap projects looks like, decent. Ooh. Yeah. You, there's some of them yeah. that are old and aren't going to come back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Or swaps mine, goes. LFG, which I think everybody's in now. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they all, yeah, we'll see how successful that launch is in two weeks. Oh man. Well, I'm about ready to go uh, do some lifting. I am going to, I think it's deadlift day today. Deadlift I think I'm going to go it. for some serious uh, upgrades on the deadlift today. So appreciate every single one of you joining me. Josh, you were able to come on the whole show, not just a half hour. Yeah, he I, goes, I'm only going to no, be here Nick, for three minutes. I had minutes. a meeting with uh, <laughs> Nick, but he postponed. So. Um, he didn't postpone, but we didn't, I didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's watching it's right now, yeah, I, mean, I, had, sure. I had the notification. I just didn't join the meeting. Sure in the chat. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, and I'm going to be contriving. I'm still working on uh, some ideas for the sub NFT, sub 15K NFT holders. Uh, we weren't even able to get the next uh, kind of campaign for sub 50K in place before we breached it. So you guys are awesome. You're sharing the stream. There's a lot of new names, new faces, new people hitting me up on uh, Twitter. It's kind of cool to see. Feels good, man. Uh, Taco, are you still doing DGen Alpha? Uh, as soon as I have someone that can edit and make thumbnails, I could do it, but I stink at it. Mm. So uh, yeah, I'd love to make those videos. Dude, you should waiting. just do it, and then I'll yell at you about it. And then you'll just do another one, and then I'll yell at you a little bit less, and then you'll be able to do it by the end of the week. That's yeah. That's I, I want to show you guys uh, the bridges I use, the different uh, blockchains to, that I've been you need trying to, do to farm. It, man. You're farming airdrops. so much of crypto right now. Like people need to know what the hell you're doing, dude. All right, you're I'll indeed. let the people in you on my to know. farmer taco. Um, yeah, farmer taco. Ooh, that could be a farmer segment. taco. Ooh. Dude, yeah. I like I love that. It. I love All it. right, <laughs> well, uh, Ed, Jess, Jim, Kevin Parsons, Cali Crypto, dude, Crypto Surge. Nicole Minister, Indy Halo, Zachary Martin, VZ Fat Cat, 
Crypto After Dark with Jake's, uh, and uh, we got Who in the Basement or in the Rumble. We got Dire Armory down there. Biggest diggers. Biggest the only diggers. fans is tonight at uh, mm. 7 p.m. This only fans. Sucks. I'll be taking. <laughs> I'll be taking my shoes off. You know what I mean? Yeah, you ain't going to get no toe picks from me there, buddy. I don't know what uh, you've been watching a little bit too much Brokeback Mountain to expect that. But I will be back, probably coming back <laughs> on the weekend uh, for the chaos to unfold on the weekend. Don't be surprised if you see Iran and Israel turning up the heat first this weekend. Things are going to get shitty Whoa. and spicy on that side. So appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back very shortly. Goodbye.